The motivations behind Circuit were really to look at how we could create positive benefits for young people and at the same time really unpick and research um, what it takes to create institutional change. And that institutional change comes through the idea of young people at the centre of these organisations from diverse backgrounds um, creating producing programmes. We have uh, four strands, um, we have festival strand which is essentially large scale events um, and these really look at how we celebrate the achievements of young people in a very visible way. The second strand is partnerships which is really crucial to um, building any type of diversity and institutional change. And then we have digital and digital is important in a sense that it holds if you want the legacy and the journey of circuit and the questioning and this idea that actually when we think about the future of this practice, this is a way of using it, utilising that as a resource. Then we have peer-led, and peer-led is really around how young people at the core of these organisations can come together, learn from each other, but then also how they can enable organisations to be much more diverse and understand young audiences. I think it's just important for the organisation to see young people and for the young people to understand more about the inner workings of the gallery. Both sides gain something from it, from that long-term relationship and then they'll be able to start to critique the programme and that's when they can have the ideas that really start to push practice. The gallery has changed an awful lot from it being quite elitist kind of place to sort of a place that is more built for everybody. The point of Circuit is to get people into the gallery that wouldn't have an interest in the first place. And it's been really great to see that people, they're really pushing to spread that information and that sort of motivation to just even experience the arts. If you don't like it, that's the point of being there. You make your own opinion. We had many um, young at Tate events before in the gallery. The feedback we got was, oh, that you know the activities were really babyish, and they were all aimed at you know 15 year olds, and actually the age bracket is 15 to 25. So then bringing forward to our festival that that evaluation we use there, it did bring a lot of young people into our program, which means that we've been able to do bigger projects and projects that we would have not have thought of before with our older group. Together we've been investigating partnership work between galleries and youth organisations. Um, and the point of that research is really to look at what are the motivations, the tensions, the challenges and the kind of consequences of those relationships. What we've tried to do and what's been brilliant about Circuit is that it's a really long-term programme. So we've been able to look in quite an in-depth ethnographic way at what happens in that very kind of particular space of partnership that brings together all these different communities. We work with young people who have a whole range of kind of challenging needs really um, and so Tate approached us to see if we'd be interested in doing a partnership project with them. So the chance to actually add a like, visual aspect to it and get to go to a gallery and do something outside of um, raw material, our studio here, was a, a brilliant opportunity for all of us and our young people kind of really took it up. As a result of the project, two of our young people have joined the Tate Collective, which is a youth group um, where they kind of put on events um, at the Tate Britain and Tate Modern. Um, and it's something that's been brilliant. They've actually kind of got paid work from it and it's something that's been fantastic for their career development. In researching what young people want from a programme, we found that they really want skills development, work experience and to improve their knowledge and networks within the arts. So we've created, uh, we created an internship, so we've had four um, paid internships during the programme so we can offer um, intensive skills development programme, supporting the circuit programme, taking part in it but also working within Wising and Kettles Yard.
One of the key roles that the young evaluators have had has been to travel to each other's galleries and they've used all sorts of tools to um, evaluate what's happened at those festivals. We're here to kind of find out whether or not people are actually having fun. How's your experience been today? Where have you been to see? What have you eaten? It makes it more intimate, it makes it more personal. A method for evaluating that I had come up with myself was something like a performance, something that would be quite interactive with members of the public that are visiting the art gallery. One of the creative evaluation activities that we did was simple post-it notes. Photographs were a great way. They more or less captured the response of the people without them having to say it. We've had colour evaluation, we've got the reaction cards off Facebook, so people can have really an immediate response without being too time consuming. I think retention in youth programmes is very different to adult programmes and family programmes in that their lives are a little bit more fluid and uh, can change from week to week or day to day. So I think that when they come to events as a one-off, sometimes that that's all they need and they get what they want and that connection with the gallery. The youth programme has changed quite a lot. It has bridged the gap between the sort of older and younger people and how they communicate with one another. The programme was really around institutional change, but that institutional change to benefit young people and how they learn their progression routes, uh, their confidence, their self-esteem, their skills. It's been really interesting and heavy learning experience. Um, learned a lot about sort of processes, about what we collect data for, what we use them for. I have learned a lot about social interactions because I'm not, not entirely great at that. So I have sort of progressed in sort of talking to people and interacting with them. Do I think that our finders have had any impact? Yes. Do I think they've had enough impact? No. But I, th I think that's, that's all part of the process. It gives you the, the chance to really say, hey, this is working. This may need a little bit of a tweaking. And you, you kind of feel like you're part of the churning wheel. We think that actually the arts and cultural organisations have a responsibility to enable the public to access uh, their spaces and their resources.